This is how corn millers operate, grinding both dry and wet maize into dough, as well as cocoon tea into its powdered form. It is through this that we get our popular banku among others. Here in Malamata, a vicinity in Greater Accra, holds not less than 16 corn mills with some who have been operating for not less than 30 years. Operators say the business, which has helped some of these cater for their children, can no longer be boasted of. Meet Albert Fiajo, 60 years old and a native of Angloga. He has been in the business for 42 years. I met Albert lying on this bench. He tells me he has been sleeping for the past four hours because he has nothing to grind. Albert says business has been slow and it's because most of the food joints are not operating fully due to the pandemic. <laughs> Before now, Albert says he could make a daily profit of 200 cities, but now he can only boast of between 30 to 50 cities a week, a situation he describes as very worrying. He said, I'm Mojaka Believer has been in the business for 15 years. Today seems to be one of his lucky days. For the first time in weeks, he has a bag of maize to grind for a client. This means he will have 25 cities should it be the only work for the day. Although the money doesn't look encouraging, Believer says it is better than nothing. His worry, however, is how he will be able to pay for his rent and utility bills at the end of the month. Victor Agbozo is 65 years and also a native of Angloga. He has been in the business for 40 years. Victor has not worked for two weeks now, looks depressed and tells me it is because he has a lot of responsibilities which includes taking care of his grandchildren. During these two weeks of idleness, his television set has been his major companion. Together with his grandchildren, they are mostly glued to GH1 television whilst they hope for a breakthrough each day. <laughs> Rose Ajugache sells corn during the Malamata market. For the first time in months, this is the first corn she mills. Janet Agbagli supplies restaurants and chop bars with corn do. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 restrictions on food vendors has made life unbearable. She would rather come out and engage with people than stay indoors and remain frustrated. Another challenge bedeviling corn mill operators is how to pay for their rent and other utility bills. This they wish, government will put in measures to address their situation.